Okay, welcome to Steve Sparkle's Corner. Now, please note that this review is based off of this retailing where you purchase it, $28 total. At Walmart. We got this from Walmart, okay? Now, I'm a big ship fan. So, that, when I saw this, it has three ships. It has the uh, Abrams Enterprise, the... Uh, the Franklin and the Swarm ship, I was like, yeah, an alien ship and the Franklin. Yeah, that kind of caught my interest. So we're basing this review off of $28. And this says it comes with the Blu-ray, DVD, and a digital HD version, plus the three ships, okay? Worth it just for the DVD. Now, Star Trek Beyond, when I went out to the theaters, the movie was pounding the viewers with so much bass that... I had trouble actually enjoying the movie, so I'm gonna actually, before I actually say if the movie is actually worth the $28, I'm gonna actually rewatch it in my bedroom where I control the volume. It may be the movie will actually be more enjoyable to me. Okay, so we're gonna be basing this off of, theoretically speaking, you actually liking the movie from the theaters, okay, and you're actually purchasing this for the first time. Whereas you do not have any additional, additional you know, copies of this movie sitting around. Now I'll be looking at the ships as well. All right, so I'm gonna be basically breaking it up from that aspect. So you know, I love me some Star Trek ships. But before you say, I am one of the people that goes, next generation's the best Star Trek of them all. Mm, over yes. Voyager, over the original series, over Deep Space Nine, next gen is the most purest to the Star Trek uh, no. universe. However, if you're one of the people no. that's like, it's like, yeah, but I like the Star Trek action. Well, then, right now, Deep Space Nine's got you covered in that. No. However, no. because every series offers something different. No. Don't okay. ever say that again in front of me again. The original William Shatner's. The original series is two different Star Trek series at the same time. Oh, God. Next Generation? I didn't, okay, I, I did like Next Generation. Next Generation is basically the purest of the ideals of Star Trek, which is an exploration. They stuck to the ideals of so Star Trek, the, and they stuck to the Prime Directive. Yeah, the Next Generation is the purest of what the Star Trek philosophy is supposed to be, or what the series is supposed to be. Yeah, Gene Roddenberry. The original Roddenberry series is. is actually prior to the creation of the... Well, actually, I'm not going to go into that, okay? Right. Because if I got into that... We're that, talking about the that's sh a whole, ship. That's a whole different video if I actually get around to it. But to right now, if this video... Gets 10 likes, I'll explain to you why actually the original series of the next generation is the best Star Trek. Alright, so let's start off with the Enterprise ship. Okay, this is the uh, Enterprise. Uh, it's missing the bottom side hull markings. It's missing a lot of the saucer. It's missing a lot of the markings off it. However, but are they all actually good? Okay, let's take a look. Okay, the stand's pegged like that, so that means the ships. The ship go away. probably goes the other way. Let's find out. Yeah. One second. Hold on. Oh, you had it right. Uh, very. That's, that, that is brutally tight fit on that stand. This is actually correct, Chris. Alrighty. Well, that's bad because if you got on the shelf at where this where your eye level is seeing the underside of the saucer. Then unfortunately you'll be seeing the missing underside saucer markings. That means unfortunately this is your best angle to where you see it from the top only. So that's that's coming I'm, out of the I'm gate. That that's that's coming out of the gate pretty weak. Okay, let's look at the Franklin. Now, unfortunately the Franklin is really a tough this is a tough one to review because the Franklin, all the scenes you really start from the top of the ship. However, basing off of Federation Hall markings where, you know, how they're supposed to be marked. The Franklin's also missing the underside of the saucer ship registry. Yeah, but it's more detailed. It's also missing the uh, USS Franklin name on the top of the saucer. Ooh, that's Whereas nice. this one's actually got the USS Enterprise on the top of the saucer. Deducted points. And it's also missing, well, it's basically the Franklin, it's got a lot of sculpting markings on it, but unfortunately it's missing a lot of markings on the ship as well. Already, this is this is this is coming up coming up very yeah. However, the Franklin's angle is sitting at makes it a lot easier to hide the fact the underside of the saucer is missing a lot of the Federation ship markings. Okay, Chris wants to do the swarm ship review, so Chris, get it over here so you can the camera better. I'm a big swarm fan. I'm never I'm never a fan of the protagonist. Well, <laughs> I can already see a lot of ups on the swarm ships. Oh, the swarm ships were very minimalistic on the markings in general. Yeah, it's very minimal. But 
couple messed up things here. No! Oh. Since they're better, so they never detail the antagonist ships that much, it's actually almost on fleek. Oh. Yeah. Fleek means good. <laughs> but it's the fact that there is a couple. <clears throat> I can't point it out though. Because it's not that well detailed, but. Let me see out of these. I need to go to I need to go to Top Scientists. Top Scientist? Well, review the wait, review you're reviewing the miniature comparison to on I have to go to scientists. <laughs> I haven't seen the movie. <laughs> I don't see it. I haven't seen the movie. You ever seen this movie? No. I thought you went with us. Okay. I guess you weren't living with us. No. <laughs> well, the swarm ship, uh, as it is an alien ship, judging this on its own merits, this is actually pretty good. Yeah. It's Unfortunately, though, in the movie, it is actually much like the other two ships. This is off off scaling of the various pieces, just like the Franklin. The Franklin, the miniature on the Franklin, the cells here is way oversized on the Enterprise series. These nacelles are actually undersized to the Enterprise. Again, this is these are off scale from each other, so the miniature of the ships, I wanna still put them up, but okay. Now, this is bearing in mind $28. The I ships, know, I like this one. the Not ships bonuses. on their own ain't worth $28, but the movie might actually make up the difference depending how they actually did the DVD. This is probably like 25 cents here. And the Blu-ray encasing in here. This is going to be the big difference maker. Okay. It's all one CD. Oh, two. I didn't know there was one behind me. Okay, feature film and special features. Feature film. The DVD only has the feature film. The Blu-ray disc has, has the special features. And then the digital HD. The digital HD copies, unfortunately, is a redemption code. So basically, I'm, I'm saying that this is a Blu-ray and DVD only movie now. Oh, I guess I can. Anytime they, anytime they include a redeeming code, that is automatically being a deduction. By the way, I don't, by the way, I'm gonna let Chris redeem that code. So he has a copy of the movie. So, How coming in? Yeah, I'm gonna have a special guest. Joel. Joel. All right, so $28, three ships plus a DVD and Blu-ray copy. Yes. So take it's worth it's worth it. You got it wrong. Yeah. It's three ships, yeah. the DVD, the Blu-ray, and a redemption code. I don't count redemption codes. No, yeah. This doesn't count. This so I, I, don't, I don't count it. I don't count that as I don't count that as a digital only copy. If they had a third disc in there with a digital copy on it, I would count that. Stay with me, though. Okay. okay. So thank you for I'm watching. Night, As but always, uh, but so feel free to subscribe to see our random yeah. and complete nonsense. Yeah. Uh, As always, but feel free to like, uh, subscribe, and a big thank you to our subscribers and our Patreon. As always, okay. peace out. I'm about to make a Metal Gear one for some reason. I'm just which Metal Gear. I'm about to literally make a Metal Gear one. Like, yeah, all right.